tourism accounts for a whopping 20% of Greek GDP and many in the industry are worried at what the effects of the debt meltdown will have on trade. Anything that makes Greece and its jeweled islands less attractive could have a devastating effect on an already crippled economy. Everyone was super friendly, even though we are Germans, <laughs> so that was nice. Everyone was welcoming. Yeah, we hope that the ferries will go back as well, so that's our only worry. If, if, I, if I cannot withdraw money, that might be, affect my holiday, of course, but if there is, no, if there is a strike, it affects my holiday as well. Otherwise, if there is nothing going to be anything like in Paris, like, um, you know, a revolt, it's fine for me. It seems that for the moment few are being discouraged, even if the USA has warned travellers about possible violent demonstrations. Last year, 24 million people visited Greece, a record. In June, with all this intense insecurity, we saw a fall in reservations. The situation is still under control. It's true that in the past few days new reservations have fallen. There are no cancellations, just a few. With one in four jobs dependent on tourism, it's one of the few expanding healthy sectors, but can be dragged down by strikes, shops running out of goods or banking machines being emptied. Tourism leaders want a deal as soon as possible. Tourism is a pillar of the Greek economy and vital to the country's efforts to exit the recession. With tourist inflows at their peak at the moment, businesses say the country should go back to normal as soon as possible so that there will be no harmful television pictures abroad.